Hi, so today I want to talk about the concern that once we develop artificial general intelligence that the fruits of this AGI and its capabilities would be hoarded by either mega wealthy individuals or corporations. What is the sort of underlying theme in this talk is scarcity and abundance. Currently most of these issues in our society, in our daily lives are due to scarcity, not having enough, not having enough time, not having enough money not having enough resources. Once we would have AGI, that could truly change everything. So once we have AGI, it's not like AGI would only be like a really good engineer or really good at puzzles or something. If it's AGI, it would be good at everything. So people are a bit close-minded thinking about it. Not only could it solve nuclear fusion, it could also solve huge political divides because it would be the world's best psychologist. It would understand the human soul better than anyone and could see through it as clear as plastic wrap or whatever. And um, people think that, oh, these societal problems are the most difficult ones. Uh, no, no, they wouldn't be. They would be also a simple logical puzzle for an AGI. Whether or not it is conscious and actually feels anything, it is also just a game of looking for patterns of how people think and react and understanding it deeply understanding it deeply enough you understand how to manipulate it now many people of course would have issue with saying that oh but you could manipulate it in uh, also humanity in negative ways which is absolutely correct um, that is why you know what i'm talking about here is more if we get hi that it's truly some kind of self self-learning system that is aligned with human values so that it genuinely wants the best uh, for all of humanity and indeed to, to an extent every every conscious living being on the planet that would be perfect um, and it would do it in an understandable way not in the kind of way of you know oh all conscious life on the planet is valuable so you know human beings must go because you know we're polluting the planet and being bad no a true AGI would understand you know like wait hold on just stop what you're doing you know, I could I could uh, fix your pollution. I could give you, you know, better transportation. I could give you clean energy, all of that. I don't need to kill all of you because you are also valuable conscious creatures. You know, understanding it in that way, not in the childish, super simplified way of killing all humans for, you know, life to be better or whatever. So that is the crucial, really important part that is actually aligned with human values and that would be like one of us <laughs> kind of although i suspect that the first agi uh, would be a somewhat of an alien mind um unless some really new interesting method is, is created to like you know either to simulate the brain and then i would understand it being a human-like intelligence but the systems that we are currently developing any agi that develops from that would be quite alien either to to its intelligence level being so above and beyond anything that we can currently even comprehend that it appears alien or the way that it functions interacts and understands the world would be just really alien if you know this agi could have senses extend a thousand times further than we it could hear sound waves that we can't hear it could see colors that we cannot perceive it could you know look where people are walking behind walls because of fi wi-fi signals it can detect if you have any disease just looking at the skin color coloration you know things that we can't even imagine what such an intelligence could do so political divides you know countries not getting along you know <laughs> all of that would be simple easy so getting back to billionaires so i would be kind of naive but even i think that someone like jeffrey bezos if he would have a choice that he would live in a world where he has billions and everyone else is starving or to live in a world where he has billions and everyone else in the world has abundance of food i think he would choose the world where everyone also has abundance of food unless i think he's certainly some kind of sociopath has to be or really disassociated from what he's actually doing in the world but i think you know it would be an ugly world to walk around in that's in flames and people starving in the streets that would not be a pretty sight you know 
when they have Olympics at some poor countries, you know, they try to clean up the places to, to look nice, you know, to take the poor people away because they're not nice to look at for rich people. Uh, I think, you know, in a, in a messed up way, that kind of similar effect could apply here where billionaires wouldn't want to see such an ugly world of people starving on the streets, so they would share in the abundance. Now, of course, we will not rely on the good hearts of billionaires to lead our world forwards. I think as it becomes more evident and obvious that abundance is coming, as for example, we will have some prototype for energy generation that produces many times more clean energy for free, pretty much. And, you know, when we have methods of creating food pretty much for free, only for energy, once these technologies emerge more and more abundance, then I think it will be natural cause of sort of uh, the collective consciousness of humanity to sort of start putting pressure on the world and having expectations from the world and each other and governments to have at least universal basic income and some dis more distribution of goods, you know, lower price for goods, uh, stuff like that. As we would begin to have more automation uh, and stuff like that in many, many different fields, people, of course, will lose their jobs and it depends on our... <sighs> it depends on how we, how we manage them. Now, if that sort of uh, social expectation and slight pressure is not enough, then of course uh, the majority of people will not be fine with that just starving. There will be more pressure uh, on governments and the world uh, to sort of, um, you know, make this abundance more available. Okay, so that's, that's one thing. Another kind of funny thing would be, okay, let's say there's some evil billionaire who wants to advance artificial general intelligence for their own goals and purposes. Uh, so let's say that they develop some brain-computer interface uh, and they, this billionaire is the first person in the world to merge with artificial general intelligence. And they plug it in into their brains and they merge with this AGI uh, with the intention of, you know, figuring out how to produce more wealth for, for themselves. But instead what will happen is that their mind will expand way beyond anything they could ever before imagine. Their ego will dissolve they will see us as a fragile blip in the universe of life that is truly, truly precious. The only meaning being consciousness. None of us living forever. There are billions of people on the planet, each one having their own life, hopes and dreams and potential for happiness. It would be so much more beautiful to be connected with one another than to be separate and, you know, try to, you know, hoard all of this bullshit. So they might have some ego death experience and after that you know they would come to the realization of like what the fuck am i doing you know i could just share in all this i want to share in all this i i remember that experience of having you know sort of mind expanding experiences and this strong feeling of wanting to share it with people and wanting other people to feel good um I hope this made some sense. Uh, this is a rant because I never structure my videos properly, but you know, it'll be just point of abundance. And of course, there are so many different avenues how it, it could go. And also artificial general intelligence, you know, few things, few points, also important points. First thing is that I worry less when I see companies that are developing artificial general intelligence. For example, the leading one being uh, Google's DeepMind, uh, Demis Hassabis. And looking at this man talk about artificial intel intelligence and the future uh, gives me hope for humanity because this is a person working on creating a future brain and he wants it to create created for the benefit of all humanity, not for increased profits or whatever, for benefit of all humanity, genuinely. So the world leading expert on artificial general intelligence and the ones that are the closest, seemingly one of the closest, uh, and that might potentially get there at first, are people who actually want, it, want to use it for the benefit of all humankind. So that gives me hope, you know. Um, and, and open AI as well is okay, you know, uh, but in general, that is the goal and the aim. And also more and more safety precautions are put into AGI research. So if you truly have something 
any care for alignment that it doesn't just you know burn the whole world down in some kind of weird uh, mistake of not having its goals described it, it uh, properly enough uh, so you would have agi that would be beneficial that even if it's users or billionaires whoever have evil intent its agi could easily convince it that hey like let's do what's best for all of us because that is the easiest we can all literally live in uh, paradise if we choose to uh, a world that would be so much more better um, these are crazy things to think about There's so many ways it could happen I have a suspicion that the reality will be something completely unexpected. Uh, the pace and growth of innovation that's been happening in the recent years and months is just uh, staggering. Um, and and it, is, it is mind-blowing to think how close we are. It is surreal. Um, so these are just some of my thoughts on this. Either we kill ourselves or we manage to create AGI and that will be the last invention that we ever need to make and it could save humanity and bring us towards a future that is more beautiful than, than we could have ever imagined. There was a lot of ifs and buts in here and a lot of conditions and so many things that can go wrong and of course when you say something it can be taken out of context and you know pretty much talking about this every word and sentence requires additional context which each one of those descriptions needing more context so you know it's for everyone's own bias to sort of make those uh, interpretations of how they see this exactly but i you know i did my best of of uh, what some of my thoughts are on this so i hope there was something interesting here for you if you have any thoughts please share them in the comments and of course thank you so much for watching and take care